want to have your picture here in the public profiles and you want to Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about how to set up your active group users account. Now we're not talking about necessarily uh, setting up the extension and all that we'll cover a little bit of that but how to set up your account how to set your profile link your profile picture all those things how to set up your account for affiliates all that we're going to talk about that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. Alright, so hopefully you've got your extension set up and we're not going to go into too much detail on that, but we'll still cover it a little bit. But before we do that, I want to remind you, if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video because I got an amazing shirt on right now. And yeah, I'm going to share my screen. So go check it out at CIS. Um, 468.jsgagnon.com because like I said I'll be sharing my screen I'll be showing you how to do all this how to set all that up in active group users and uh, let's uh, go right to it so say for example let's go to the web so say for example you're on activegroupusers.com which takes you to this page right here right activegroupusers.com I can put the link right there if you don't know about active group users you can actually go right to activegroupusers.com it'll take you to this page which kind of talks a little bit about how to use it how to set it up and um, no, and and there's a video here that explains how to use the actual extension so we're just gonna we're just gonna do the very basics like say for example you've got the extension by going to this uh, to this page here where you got the free 90 days because you've watched the demo there's a demo right here you can register to by the way you really want to go check this out the demo is at agudemo.com so you can go and register you get up to 90 days free with the extension by going through this training that shows you how to use the extension and why you want it want this extent extension of course and all that we're going to talk about why you want it what are the other people saying about it what is the benefit of using this versus just Facebook right and um and then you can use the free 90 day if you want so we're just going to do that right now I'm just going to set up an account right here I'm going to call this test e, I don't know test uh, 25 whatever uh, it doesn't really matter and then we're just going to activate a free account so this is kind of how this is one way to get an account and uh, when you do that you're going to see that you're going to receive an email let's just reload this and you're going to see that you can get an email like this that says welcome to active group users you or someone else requested an account and then I can just click on this here and it'll open up the um, website to set up to access the account now the account is one thing the extension is another thing so the extension is the tool that installs in your browser now that's the part that goes and finds the active users now let's take that link out of there so that's the part that goes and gets the active users out of Facebook gives you a list and I can kind of show you well I mean when we look at this page you can see this video here shows the list of users and everything that's kind of what you get out of the extension but this is the site where you can um well you use that data or access it but the first thing you want to do is these are the first things you want to do right join the Facebook group um, download the extension install it and learn more by watching this video right so those are really the first three things you need to do we're going to talk about other things I have a note right here where is it the note did I not did I close it I think I closed it let me go back here to open it up I have it right here I didn't realize I closed it so let's just open this up so basically like I said logging in we just did that you're gonna have an email with a link the then you need to install the extension which let's just do that because it's really quick so download the extension install you click on that link right there it goes to uh, chrome and it uh, I already have it so I'll just remove it to kind of show you how it works when you don't have it so when you don't have it it'll say like this add to chrome right so I'm going to click on add to chrome it's going to tell me that's going to there's permissions and stuff you just click on add extension and then your extensions installed right so that I'm not going to go too much more into that uh, the other thing is you click on this little 
uh, puzzle icon up here and then you go down to the extension active group users and you click the little pin so that it shows up here all the time right it's up here right here so the next step is connecting the extension so the way you do that is you just click on the extension icon right in your toolbar right or if you didn't press a little pin it'll be down here right active group users so then it loads it up it says welcome step one first things let's get your account set up pre-account here so you've already set up an account so you, it'll just tell you that so I click on this button still and it loads up the extension and it tells me great you're already logged in as test 25 now it just tells me to click the extension again as you can see it's kind of showing you go to the little puzzle piece and click on it right so we we can click the icon because it's already there so we click on that and now it says it's got an account activated great your account is set up so now I just click on next and I believe I I forget if I have to put a group here well let's put a group so if I go on Facebook I take a group right here it doesn't really matter which group you whatever groups you want right because you're wanting to find users in the groups that you care about where your users where your perfect prospects are right so you click on this again and then I'm just going to paste the group in here click on next and then I'm all set I could run a first scrape now if I wanted uh, but I'm not going to I'm just going to click on finish so then it loads up the page with um normally the group should have worked there I guess I gotta take a look at that but I'll paste it again here I'll just click on that so now the group is there and uh you can start the extension or you just let it go at 2 a.m it's going to run automatically at 2 a.m and that's kind of how it works it'll automatically go and get the data so that's all you need to do to set it up now we're talking about adding groups extension running the scrape so these things here all these steps number two to you know even number one are really part of the other training that's in that other video and maybe we'll get back to that after this but I really want to talk about setting up your account on active group users because that's the important thing so setting up your account what I'm talking about here oh actually I had it right here so setting up your profile image your cover and a bio right so what do we do here is we go to active group users this page here and then we click on the little um uh profile picture up there that's on the top right you're gonna notice it's gonna have a whole bunch of different menu entries you click on about bio and cover that takes you to your bio for your account so uh, what you do here is you click on update and you choose a file and we're gonna go into my images I have some images where is it images images and I'm going to use this picture right here all right so just that picture there you can't even let's just make this so you can kind of see whoops just so you can kind of see what picture I chose there that picture there so I just click on open and then I just say upload new profile picture right I just click the button upload then it'll change it right here as you can see now I can also change the cover photo by clicking the change cover <clears throat> again choose a file let's say I put this one here and I say upload new cover photo so now I'm going to have a new cover photo and if you want to reposition it you can click the reposition moving it up and down uh, so that you can see whatever part you'd like to see in the <clears throat> in the view there right so then the other thing is you're going to want to set up your bio so I sell widgets to widgeters right <laughs> so I'll just set that bio <coughs> like that and there you go so now I saved my bio I saved my cover picture and my profile picture so that's the first part is setting up your profile image your cover and your bio all right then we want to have social links you know you're on you're on Facebook most likely because you're using the active group extension use it to find users on Facebook but maybe you're on LinkedIn maybe you're on Twitter maybe on Instagram maybe you're on, on all these other profiles so those you want to have your links and I'll show you why like say for example I go in here under public profiles the public profiles are the people that have accounts that set up their links like see my account has a whole bunch of links set up here um, Carla has her Facebook one uh, solid habits has this Facebook one Jane has Facebook Instagram and two and LinkedIn then the Elise Alice has these ones right so depending on the the person they would have more or less things so you want to have your picture here 
in the public profiles and you want to have your links down here so that people can find you on the other platforms maybe you like using Instagram better than than Facebook but you're using Facebook because the extension is only used for Facebook right but you still want to have those links so how do you do that so what we do is we go into again the account menu as you'll notice right here now my profile picture is there now instead of that little f uh, fake profile image right so you go to social links right there so under social links the way it works is you're going to see that it says you have no social network links all right so we're going to click on add new social link my Facebook I'm going to say whatever my Facebook ID is right so if you go to Facebook right and you go to your home and you go to your own profile you're going to see this is your link right here so that's your link right there in my case it's new links yours could be whatever it is right if I go to anybody else's profile if I say I go to Beverly's profile here see how hers is Beverly Beverly Samuel dot Beverly dot Samuel dot one right so that's what you put right here right mine is new links so I'm just going to click on save and then I have my Facebook now I'm going to add another one and I'm going to say I want my Instagram there's my Instagram by default it goes to that I'm going to put my Instagram is Jean-Serge Gagnon so that's your handle so as you can see it shows you the link that it creates right down there so you click on save as well I'm going to also add um TikTok TikTok you can just click on any of these by the way to create whatever one you want so Pinterest is success with JS and then my uh, TikTok is also Jean-Serge Gagnon all right and then I can add you know as many other ones I want then you can also organize them let's say you want Pinterest to be at the bottom of the list and you want in uh, well let's say you had Instagram there you want Instagram to be second so you move it up you press these little arrows it'll move them like this but that what that does is now if I'm now if my account is all ready that means that whenever I go here and when you can see you would be able to see well actually not yet there's another thing you got to do so you would be able to see those down here on the bottom like if I click on link on this link here it'll take me to Jane's LinkedIn right and uh, that's her LinkedIn account that she decided oh I guess there's an error she probably didn't do it right but still um, I don't know let's say I look at uh, how about we look at Alice's LinkedIn is that gonna work Dr. Alice coaching yes I hope so that's not right either so the, I guess I guess it's not obvious to people how to use that let's see if uh, Cecilia figured it out yes so she got it see now that goes to her profile so I'm gonna have to reach out to the other two there to Jane and um, and to let them know that their links aren't working right so that's kind of how uh, that works so that's uh, so you do the same thing so you're going to have your account here you're going to be able to see people are going to be able to see your links they'll be able to click on it so if, say for example I go to to uh, Cecilia here I can click on her her profile picture it'll take me to her account on here with her bio right here with her cover photo with her profile picture right and her links are right here right I can actually click on these links as well I click on Twitter should take me to her Twitter Twitter page right and that's kind of how it works so there you go I'm on Twitter I'm on Cecilia Morris's profile there you go all right okay so let's just um now the next step the last step that we want to talk about in your account is enabling affiliate income so with active group users you can actually make a commission if you refer people for free and then they decide to be, to pay for the extension right either they go on the demo and watch the demo and they they decide to go for the offer that's in the demo or they just pay the monthly 10 20 50 dollar 100 dollar whatever the plan they choose to get you get a commission on that but before you can get a commission before you can be an affiliate you have to go through and and set it up so that you're you're in a, you're certain affiliates you can't you're not, not just automatically affiliate. all right so same thing over here you can go down here to affiliates at the bottom right here or you can go to the menu and go to affiliate right there so let's go there let's go to affiliates and set that up and when you go to affiliate you're going to see down here there's a place where it says affiliate partner thank you for interest and it'll tell you right here 
what you need to do and it says in red what's not done this is what needs needs to be completed now because we already have our profile picture we're all good because but if you try to go there without having some of these things that you would have those to do as well so here's what you need to do we need to set the username to something other than user x so what that means is instead of user x we need to set it up like jsg test let's say right and then I want to make my account public I have to change the make account public to yes right here and then I click on save and that sets those two things up and there we go so now we have that and then I can click on I request to begin the affiliate and I accept the, the terms and rules of course you want to read them you click on those to read those so become an affiliate now and there you go so now you're an affiliate and your account is public so that means that when I go to more and public profiles now my new account will actually be there in the list right here see it's right here I sell widgets to widgeteers and I have these little icons for my profile and I can click on edit right here if I want to go edit my social links directly or if I go to my uh, bio and cover you'll also notice that there is also a link right here to edit the social links right there right so that takes you to the social links instead of going through the menu right all right so that's how you set up your social links that's how you set up your affiliate um you know permissions and your public profile and your bio and your cover photo and your and your profile picture and uh that's and that's basically it so now let's talk about let's go back to the actual extension use right so we talk about using the extension I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna log out from here and log in as myself right so I'm gonna log out here and I'm gonna log in again let's just go to the it'll load up the page automatically all right so I'm just gonna go to the about page Mm, it's very very hot here very hot and humid <laughs> I wish I had a fan going but it would make too much noise so after this video is recorded you better believe that the air conditioner is coming back on all right so um yeah so when I click on the login now I'm going to log in as myself which I can click on continue as John said which will use the Facebook login or I just already have my login saved so I'm just going to click on login right here it takes me to my personal account which you know if I go say for example down here and I go into my about my social links you're going to notice I have my social links set up all here I have all my links right I probably need to uh, let's say I want to let's say you wanted to add a social link that doesn't exist yet like for example just this week threads came out so that's I don't have we don't have the icon here maybe we'll have it by the time you do but you can actually go in here and just choose like this little world and then generic website and I'm just going to call it threads and I'm going to put the threads URL which is www.threads.net and then slash and then at and then my user right so that's my threads link so I can just save that and there we go now I have threads I can move it up let's say I want to move it up to next to Instagram so I'll move it all the way up to next to Instagram and there we go well I guess just actually after Instagram and click e-course we don't need that there I really want my Facebook to be first so I can kind of move all this around like this and then let's say I want my where's my Instagram what's well, right there my Instagram next <clears throat> and then my uh, threads next my blog so you know there's all these different things all these are like that so now I can just go back to my to my profile public profiles I mean and you can see that my account is there right this one here and it's got these links in the order that I chose right the Facebook's first Instagram's next then the threads one and if you, you can see mouse swing over kind of shows you the label right and then this is the account we just created right so if I go to this account if I just click the profile picture it takes me to that account I can see the cover photo I had and all that all right so uh, by the way the impersonates there is because I'm the super admin of the site allows me to debug problems that other users have it's logged in the in your in your account and stuff so you know I can't do things 
without you knowing but yeah so that's why that's there in case you're wondering um okay so now once you have the extension let's go into here let's actually reconnect the extension because now I this is not something you'll have to do obviously because you'll set up only one account and you'll connect the extension to your account and you're going to set it up and everything but me I've got another account here and I'm gonna, just going to disconnect it I'm going to log out and then I'm going to click on set up account which will reconnect me to my real account see my real account right and I'm just going to go back here I'm just going to click on finish because I'm already set up and that'll just load up the page with my list of groups that I have <coughs> and I have like 15 groups right you can put out you can put as many as 15 groups in the account depending on your plan right the free gold plan will allow you to create up to 15 groups but you might have only three depending on if you got the free just the free trial anyways like there's different amounts but up to 15 groups and now once you've gotten this run you can click on view data right here and that'll open up the page to show you the data <coughs> that it re it did right so this here kind of shows you uh, how often uh, what the, what I'm using it as right shows you how often uh, how many uh, visitors how many profiles I visit and it also shows me down here the list of all the the list of all the sorry something just fell <laughs> the list of the users that were scraped by the scrape right here if I go by all contacts which is one of the things you'll you'll be able to do the all contacts I mean you can do it the first time you use the extension but really you want to wait for a while because uh you want to every time you every time you use it it goes and fetches the group the users in the groups that you told it to that you know posted and commented in the last you know, like couple days right so if you keep running it every day you're going to keep getting new users all the time because every day different people post different people comment right <clears throat> and then you'll get a list like this of uh you know I got 25,000 users now right you can click on the load more to load some more but you're going to get a list like this and then what you do is you just click on their names let's say I load more here and I'm going to go find so this here so just like the data itself right let's talk about the data I'm just going to put the link back here if you want you really want to go to the AGU demo the next AGU demo just go to AGU demo to register for free for the next session that we're going to do that's going to talk about this show this a little bit more but just as a quick thing you can see right here <clears throat> this is how long ago I visited these profiles two hours you know eight hours yesterday two days ago etc right and I can load more and then we'll see three days ago four days ago five days ago right but let's say I want to see who is the most active in Facebook well then I would sort by the Facebook comments or Facebook posts which is that link there the FC is for Facebook comments and the FP is for Facebook posts and that's kind of how that works so you can mouse over it it'll tell you right there you know number of comments in the last 30 days by this user <clears throat> so it shows me right here that Baxter Badger had 166 comments and I got a note here that says is not a target for me right Baxter Badger there's another one I guess they created a new account this might be a different one no it seems to be the same one 235 yeah so it must have been the name change maybe <coughs> and then you know some of these have uh I don't know what this comment is this these these don't look right but anyways don't worry about that so if I click on this I can add a comment a note to them um so some of them I can't comment like see this one here Gerson I visited 107 days ago but I can't comment on this stuff so I'm like okay you know what I'm not even going to bother visiting that profile right because that's why I have these comments so Jennifer Ray here she only shares stuff so I'm like well whatever I don't really need I can't really engage on their comments because the idea here and this is why you really want to go check out the AGU demo right because that is what is explained as to why you even want to use a tool like this because really you know you're on Facebook and you're navigating through here and you're commenting on these things that's because Facebook wants you to comment on these things right they're showing you this in the feed but what if you took control of whose posts you're engaging on right what if you took control and you decided who you were going to engage on whose posts will you engage on right it's all about choosing yourself 
who to engage on so that they start to see your notif your face in their notifications and that's basically using your own decision as to who you engage on instead of using the news feed right if you use the news feed you're just going to keep seeing the same people in the same 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 all, all the time right it's going to be the same 20 or 30 people that you're going to see all the time <laughs> and that's you don't want that you don't want to see all the same people all the time you want to see new people different people you want to see different posts and you can't do that by using the feed alone the feed alone will not work it will not let you see just what you want it'll show you what they want that's what Facebook does it shows you what it wants Facebook shows you what they want that's just how it is right so by using the extension by using the where do I have the links uh, where do I have my data right here okay by using this you can then decide okay I'm gonna go see let's say I go to one of these that I have not visited in a while ago so let's say um, <clears throat> somebody who have four days uh yesterday let's load more just see if I can find somebody who I have not visited in a long long time <clears throat> and I could by the way I could use the filters up here under advanced that I can say I want to just show me people that I have not visited in at least six days so let's do that so that way and I can even say don't include people with notes so if I just uh, look at that oh there we go can't comment let's say I don't want notes I say without notes filter and then there we go so now by setting it to without notes now I just have people that I have not and you see seven days ten days ten days so I would click on say for example yogiraj yogiraj right here and I would load it up and then I can see his last 20 comments or 20 posts I can click on the reload up to see the boat or I can click on his name again that'll take me straight to Facebook on his profile so I don't have to go and search for it you know because if I go to groups <clears throat> so I'm just going to engage on some of these posts here I'm going to say I'm just going to react to this I'm love it I'm going to say that's fantastic that's fantastic congrats right of course there we go and then I'm going to uh, react to this one and I'm going to react to this one perfect okay so then I'm just going to close this tab right here like this and I'm going to go back in here I'm going to say I commented on one post and I reacted to three posts I'm going to save the updates and now his row becomes green because I visited his profile right so now that's that's how you use it every day you go through 10 20 of these I do like you see right here this is the number that I visited today 25 yesterday 21 23 the day before 21 the day before right so that shows you how many I visit so it lets me kind of keep track right so obviously you can get rid of this if you want just by clicking the little x or you click the restore to get it back if you don't want to use it you don't have to but I use it all the time I really like to see how many people I visited yesterday how many I visited today and the thing is that every time you visit people they see your notifications they see your face in their notification because you visited their page and commented on one of their posts that's what they want you to do right they're posting because they want people to comment on it anyways I'm getting ahead of myself here but here's what I want to get to is if I go into groups right <coughs> and I want to see who's active in the group right I can go to this to this uh, rank makers maybe or land let's which group click funnels official okay go to click funnels official group right and if I look at the at this feed the feed for the group right I can actually go in here and then those leaders tell you to comment on things and whatever I can actually go in here and comment on the post and like the post and everything else and you know that's great that does kind of work pretty good but it's a lot of work but if you wanted to see Derek right here if you wanted to see Derek right there he commented on stuff I can click on his name right here right or his profile picture same thing it takes me to the group the group um profile right so actually I'm going to reload this because that's because the extension I changed the user and whatever so that's why it told me to reload right there there you go okay so um this is the profile that it doesn't say that he's got any posts but he does say that he commented here but what if he did more or not you could tell from the Jenkins from the 
<laughs> Why did I say Jenkins? Jenkins is something I do in my day job. It uh, has to do with... Uh, anyways, I'm not going to get into it. It's a software. But <clears throat> the thing is that if he... If I want to know if he's busy, he's active, I would see in the in the list here, I, I could try to find his name and see how, how many comments he's got. Right, right here, he sees 22, 21, 16. So that could be a way. But the thing is that if you're not using the software, you don't really know if this person is active in, in Facebook nuts. But you have to go to his profile. You click on this to go to this main profile. So it's multiple clicks to get to their profile. You're in the group. You want to see their profile and whether they're active then you got to click two three things and I can see right here he's got something from July 1st uh, July 1st July 1st I guess he posted a few things then June 25th and March 26 right so he's not super active but he did post a few things and you could probably engage on this stuff because you know he's posting something about work from home entrepreneurship lifestyle day routine of work from home <clears throat> so that would probably be something that he's starting to build a business online it'd be somebody to engage his profile but the thing is that it's going to be so much work to go through the group and to go through to the profile and then to go to their main profile there's multiple links every single comment you see you don't know who they're active or if it's the first ever time that they commented or not with the extension you get to see that list and you get to see how many comments they have and you can use that to your advantage and that's what the tool lets you do all right like i said to set up your account you want to go and uh <clears throat> let's we're not logged in on this page let's close this one to set up your account let me just close all these extra pages so you go to your account you create you you can update your cover photo your profile picture and then you can set up your <clears throat> uh links right your facebook your social links and you can set up then your profile to be public so that you can become an affiliate and generate income from anybody you refer to and by the way if you want to refer people to this all you got to do is click the little sh the blue share and it'll always have a link that you can share by either copying it by sharing to facebook link uh, twitter Insta, uh, linkedin or pinterest <coughs> and that's how you share now once somebody gets to the platform using your link they're going to be tied to you and that's how the affiliate program works once they're tied to you if they decide to buy anything uh one of the plans or anything like that then they then you get the commission from that all right hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.